Well, hello! John B. Parker here, back with another episode of Breakout. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic myself. As you can see, I cleared out all of the, the stone that was around us, and we found a couple of coal. So I, uh, I waited to mine that until you guys were uh, back with me here. But we have a, a little rearrangement here, just to kind of keep it so we don't have floating blocks for now, you know? But uh, let's go ahead and give this rice bread a, a munch on. And let's go ahead and mine out this coal, because it says we can with the stone hammer here. And we got a coal, we got a little bit of XP, that's nice. That's nice. This should help us with what we're trying to do today. Today we're going to continue uh, continue on in the quest pack, not the escape button. Let's go to the quest book here. And I want to get this quest done here, this break time quest. It says, well, I'm exhausted and hungry. It is clear that breaking out of here won't be something I can do in an afternoon, so I need to find a way to feed myself. If there are worms in the water, maybe there are tastier forms of life as well. Let's work on a new version of my strainer and a way to cook whatever I find. So... We're going to get some fisherman strainers. We've got to get a furnace first. The furnace is the number one key here. And look at all the stone pebbles I got. That is uh, basically all from just the stone. So it was pretty intense here. Let's see if it's the same crafting recipe. And it is. There we go. So let's go ahead and throw this furnace. Uh, no! That'll work. I wanted to put it right there, but it is what it is. All right. So I have my quest book keybind to the grave key which is the the key that's right next to the number one on your keyboard and so I don't have to always have the quest book in my inventory so let's see here bait pot fisherman strainer cooked fish what does that take to make those things obviously the cooked fish we're gonna have to get from using the fisherman strainer but let's take a look at the bait pot and it's right there so what we need is a wooden trap door and a flower pot that's creepy to get a flower. <laughs> okay, I'll take that recipe all day. Uh, to get bricks, we have to smelt some clay. So let's go ahead and get that started here. We ended up getting uh, a couple of clay here. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see here. Do we have? Do we have mini coal? Yes, we do. Or tiny coal. Actually, additions. Actually, additions is a really handy mod there. And so let's just throw a couple of clay in there. And. As that cooks, we'll uh, we'll take a look here. We need another wooden trap door. Do we have an extra one? We do have an extra one. That's nice. Let's go ahead and uh, come on, bricks, smelt up for me. Let's go ahead and take a. What else do we need? We need fisherman strainer. So while that cooks, let's look up the fisherman strainer. It's that one right there. Oh, and that's just a regular net with sugar canes or dried up sugar canes. Well, we got some dried up sugar canes out of the uh, strainer. The normal. The normal strainers so let's see if we got eight here oh and it looks like we do so we're gonna need some string for the net and you know what let's just uh, let's just craft it like this there we go we got the net and now we have a fisherman strainer awesome so take a look at our quests we have that we have this as our bricks we have enough bricks there let's go ahead and craft a, a regular flower pot and our trap door and we have a bait pot so that's excellent now what we also got from those was some bait a bait pot is kind of useless without bait so the worm having the worms there is nice uh, let's use this one let's take that out I'll take all this stuff out here we'll throw that fisherman strainer in but you have to have bait so we throw that in and we throw that in let's actually let's take a look here let's get our efficiency efficiency meter here and bonus efficiency minus 8%. Let's take the bait pot out and let's see where we're at. I guess it's the same. It's supposed to increase. Bait has a chance of, uh, what, it makes bait in a fisherman strainer more efficient. I don't know, but this doesn't have a, the fisherman strainer here doesn't have a durability. But what it does have is you have to have bait in here. So it kind of, de it kind of does have a durability. But if we just kind of make sure that we're stocked up here with the uh, worms and we're getting all kinds of stuff here. So if we hit shift, we can see what we would potentially get out of the fisherman's trainer. And we have a chance here at raw fish and, and puffer, we ended up getting a puffer fish. So that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and let this, let this work. 
and uh, I'll come back to you guys when I have when I have the raw fish cooked up. I think it's time to check on our fish, and it is done. I literally only had to wait a few seconds for that, and it and it just popped right up in here. So ink sack, ooh, that's nice. We finished a quest. Let's check out the quests here. All right. So basically, this is just a quest. We don't get a reward for it. it just shows us how to uh, get some fish. And uh, that's really nice. So if we keep one one of our strainers going with the fisherman strainer, and hopefully we can keep it stocked with worms, um, we should have a a good supply of fish. So that's nice. All right, let's go ahead and take back back. Let's go back into here and take a look at the next quest, moving day. So this is the one where we can move the chests, and we get two survivalist strainers with it. So this is just a checkbox task. Uh, we detect it and we claim. There we go. And then our next quest is called Refreshed. Judging by the taste of the water, this stone has a high mineral content. After combining these stone pebbles into gravel, I can use a mesh similar to what I'm using in the strainer to sieve out some useful bits. Oh, and there's two pages here. So we need a sieve, we need a flint stiffen mesh, and then we need to get 16 gravel. Okay. Ooh, get out of my, get out of my face. Okay, so the cool thing was here, all the stone pebbles aren't just going to take up inventory space. They actually are prove, prove themselves to be useful here. And we can use them to craft gravel. I believe we can just do it in a... Yeah, we can do it in our head. Just like that. Come on. There we go. I don't know what that was weird. Come on. There. Oh, my. I have no idea why that does that. Maybe it's because we're in our head instead of in an actual crafting table. All right. So we took eight stacks or 16 stacks... We took 16 stacks of stone pebbles and we turned them into four stacks of gravel. So that was nice. And then what else did we need here? We needed a sieve and a flint stiffen mesh. So let's go take a look at the what it takes to get a sieve. A regular sieve here from Ex Nilo Creatio. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but we're going we're gonna to do our best to try and not pronounce it. <laughs> so we don't butcher it too bad. So we need a log, we need some planks, and we need some sticks. Okay. All right, so there's some logs, there's some planks, and there's some sticks. Let's take a look here now. We got the we got the sieve. Okay, so what we also needed was a flint stiffened mesh. So if we look up mesh, we have the string. We need a string mesh with six flint. So then we just need that. How do we get the flint here? Let's take a look. It's basically from compressed flint blocks, stuff like that. Uh, what else? There's got to be a way to get it from sieving, right? So if we sieve gravel in a flint stiffened mesh, we get flint. Did we already have flint? We did already have flint. That's right. Um, I'm a little derpy just now, guys. <laughs> okay, all right. We can put some of this stuff away. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a regular string mesh. And then we'll make ourselves the flint stiffened mesh. And that should complete that quest because we already made the gravel. So then with that, we get 16 gravel and another chest. That's nice. That's very nice. And that is basically getting started. We're done. So the next quest, uh, the next tab in the quest book is called Getting Desperate. And so we're going to sieve for freedom. Oh, boy. Who knew so many useful and valuable resources could be salvaged from rough rock? Combining these dust together, try K. I think that's just a auto compress. Uh, gives me nearly the output of a full ore. As my tools improve, I need to track. I need to track of what resources I get from specific combinations of meshes and soils. That's some grammar problems. Oh well. As a bonus, I've discovered that two or more sieves set up next to each other can even be operated at the same time with no extra effort. So that's a really cool mechanic that uh, I'm really cool to. Sh I'm really happy to show off for you guys. So we need iron ore pieces. We need tiny coal. We need iron ore chunks. Okay, so oh, I'm sorry. I just totally forgot. Uh, I believe that what we need to do here is we need to sieve. Uh, we need to sieve our uh, gravel through the flint stiffened mesh, and what we're gonna get is we're gonna get all of those things that we needed to get. So we just have to sit here for a while. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and get get this going and I'll come back to you when I have a bunch of this gravel already sieved up and I have a whole bunch of different types of materials in my inventory. Oh boy, let me tell you guys, that was that was kind of a grind. <laughs> I'll tell you what, and it's kind of boring too. You know, 
when you throw in, when you're doing the sieving, you're just sitting here and you're holding the button and just letting things happen. So I went ahead and I made three of these things. And uh, I can go ahead and show you off. Oh, what I missed, I didn't show you, was when we cleared the stone, we have these uh, coarse dirt. We have nine coarse dirts here. And if we look under the middle one, we have a growth crystal from Tiny Progression. So it kind of helps. It kind of helps with the with the growing of the stuff. So let me just show you how this how this works here, right? So I can uh, if I wanted to sieve more than one gravel at a time or anything really, but for now we're doing gravel. I just shift click on it or uh, right click on it, and it does three at a time now. So that's a that's a really handy thing. And I'm not 100% certain. I'm sure we'll find out in time what the max is and i think it was five by five that you could do so you could do like 25 sieves at one time but don't quote me on that we'll figure it out we'll get there we'll have, when we have more space we'll set up more than just the three sieves that we have here so i do believe that i ended up getting enough stuff here to complete the quest and if we look in our quest book uh, we ended up getting all of these but what we needed to do is we needed to craft a coal and get an iron ore chunk so the coal is easy enough with the tiny coal, but the iron ore chunk, I believe, is just four of these, right? Bam! There's that right there, and then we need to go to our crafting table, and we get eight just like that. Now, these iron ore chunks, I believe, are what we can use. We smelt these, and we get iron ingots. So, that should have completed the quest. Yay! And we get an extra sieve and an extra flint stiffen mesh. That's handy. It's really handy. It's an extra. It's one less that we don't have to make. Oh, boy, we got a whole bunch of stuff here. What do we got here? Better straining. We got sand. Another shell cracked. Let's go for... What is this? Oh, what is this? These dust really fly everywhere? I guess... You know, this is one of these where we get a sweet reward. Let's wait on that for just a minute. Let's see here. Sand. Although I have been having good luck getting some basic ores out of the gravel, hammering the gravel down to a finer sand may let me catch materials that are getting past me now. So we can get black quartz, cactus seeds, or ancient spores. Ooh, that's really nice. That's really nice. Now that I have access to some metals, I can finally clear myself a little more room here. So iron pickaxe, that's where we're headed. That's where we want to go. For right now, we're going to skip everything, and we're going to take our iron, and we're going to smelt it, and we're going to go to ourselves an iron pickaxe. Let's go ahead. Since this is modded, this is always a good tip. Just make sure. Oh, whoa, that's not even close to spelled right. Let's go ahead and make sure that the recipe is the same. It's not. We need three iron ingots and we need two baguettes. What? Two baguettes? How does that... I don't even understand how that works. But we'll take a look at that. So we need dough. So we're going to need two doughs. Then we're going to need two wheat and a bowl to get wheat. I believe it's just the normal farm with seeds. So let's check. Did we get any seeds yet? Did we get any seeds yet? from anything oh boy boy they really see this is why you check guys this is why you check how do you get seeds from wheat thanks i guess it drops from those things oh if we have compressed dirt through a string mesh we get seeds at a 20 percent chance or just regular dirt right okay so this is a heavy sieve let's look at the regular sieve so just regular dirt through a string mesh, gets us seeds. Okay, how do we get the dirt then? Because we haven't figured that part out yet. Compost. Okay, I know composting. So this is basically we just throw these type of things into here. And what do we have? It looks like we have sticks. We also have the dried up sugar cane. String. That's a, that's crazy. That, that's, that's a lot of string though. Let's see if we have any better options. I'm not really seeing any better options here. For things that we have currently. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and make ourselves. Oh. We could possibly get. No, we can't. Oh, we can get dirt out of a solid survivalist strainer. Reinforced survivalist strainer. Or just a regular survivalist strainer that's dense. Which means we need iron nuggets. So we are going to go ahead and smelt up some of this iron. We're going to get that dense survivalist strainer right here. So we're going to need a, rig, a dense net, which is just six string. That should be easy enough. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. 
a couple of sticks and some iron nugs. So, oh, we already have the string. We already have the sticks. So let's go ahead and get the iron nugs right here. I feel like this is going to be a good use of our, of our iron right off the bat just because this is going to be free, uh, free stuff that's gonna, we're going to get. So, all right. Oh, wait, that was a quest? I guess we should have looked. That was a quest. Ha! Now that I have access to better materials, I bet I can make an improved mesh for my old water strainer. And we get a solid survival strainer and a dense one already. Huh. That's crazy. Okay. I'll take it. I will take it. So we look at uses on this. We go with the straining and we get dirt 9% <clears throat> of the time. So which one do we want to use here? 920 uses, 920 uses, 200 uses. So let's go ahead and throw this one uh, in, our, in our chest for right now. And I guess let's go with collect general small sized items. What? This looks like it just collects the same stuff. Sand, dirt, tiny coal, and gravel. Well, let's go into this one here. Since this one's almost dead. Eh, they're both almost dead. So we can take this one out. We can put our dense one in. Let's get all this stuff out of it here just to keep it organized, sort of. And we'll throw... Oh, not the iron nugs. Iron nugs go in the other one. Uh, where are we at here? Let's throw the flint, sticks. Let's throw all this stuff in here that we aren't really too used we're not really going to use right away there we go and then i want to save this chest for most of our straining our sieving and our you know quality quality type drops and this will be more of a stuff that we get out of the strainers what have you so let's take a look here oh we already got two gravel three two gravel and two tiny coal so that's nice and this one's going to be about done what we need to do is we need to get more worms in here I bet huh yep it's out of worms so you know I, we're in such a tiny space here that I'm not sure that we're gonna need a whole lot of food I just I just have a feeling right we're not gonna be running around a whole lot we're not gonna be what we are gonna be doing is jumping so that shouldn't be that big of a deal let's go ahead and eat this fish since we're kind of hungry and that doesn't oh boy that doesn't that doesn't heal too much food right there let's get the carrot juice carrot juice was from a quest oh and we get look at that man we got a free glass bottle that that's handy that's very handy so yeah what I like I said I don't think that we're gonna need too much uh, too much food we're not gonna need a uh, like to set up a cow farm or anything I don't think uh, just to get steaks but oh come on give us the dirt man that's what we need is the dirt wasn't it because we needed the dirt to get the seeds because we have to sieve the dirt to get the seeds out of a string mesh. So we needed to make ourselves just a regular string mesh. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and do that. String mesh. Oh, something cool I wanted to show off here. Let's let's try this here, right? So crafting tweaks, I believe it is. If you just put all of your stuff here, balance the grid or shift balance the grid, it will take it and it will spread it, everything out like that beauty it's a beauty all right so can we just can we just right click this yes we can shift right click and the mesh pops out so we put the regular mesh back in and it works it works out really nicely so let's just throw all this stuff in here all right come on give us some dirt oh we got a dirt can we get some seeds here because we gotta we gotta we gotta get some seeds so we can grow some wheat please give us some seeds please give us some seeds boo that's a boo. Dang it. All right. So let's go back to seeds. That's a heavy sieve. A regular sieve. Looks like we have a 20% chance of getting seeds from dirt through a string mesh. You're always going to get stone pebbles. All right. I'm going to come back to you guys when I have some seeds and uh, we'll get planted. Holy cow. That took five ever. Man, this thing... I, I love that it's given us free stuff, but it's taking forever. Holy cow. Anyway, we finally got enough dirt that we threw some uh, threw some dirt through the sieve, and we got ourselves some, some seeds. Now, what I went ahead and did was out of this, the survival or the fisherman's trainer, we're getting bone meal. So I just went ahead and uh, bone mealed the crap out of it. So 
we got some wheat right off the bat here. So what we're going to do here is we need to make ourselves, uh, for the baguette, we need bowl, uh, one bowl, two wheat, gives us two dough. Take that bowl back out because those are reusable. It's really nice. We throw the two dough in our furnace, and we should be having ourselves. Oh, are you kidding? One, two, three, four. I forgot that we used one on the... Did I have one in there? Did I have one in here? Iron? Iron? Hello, iron? No? Ugh. We must have only made three or something. I don't know. Whatever. It's okay. Got our two baguettes. Let's get our other iron ore chunk smelting down. This will finally, finally give us the access to uh, expand even more. And it's going to be fantastic. The one problem with this, uh, when you hit it with a hoe, the coarse dirt, it turns it into regular dirt. So that's really nice. But then what happened was there's no water source that that's too far away. There's no water source to keep it tilled. So it is what it is. All right, let's get ourselves this. I don't understand the baguettes as the handle, but it is what it is. Iron pickaxe, baby. And we got ourselves an advancement and a quest complete. Uh, we are getting desperate here. There we go. Four levels of XP. Nice. All right. So that's going to be everything for today. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and mine out all of this andesite. Let's go ahead and double check. Let's go ahead and double check. Oh, oh, wow. Look at all the space that we get now. Oh, this is going to re this is going to be really good, guys. This is like triple the amount of space that we're going to get. Awesome. This is getting a little claustrophobic. I need to get out. Whoo. Okay. All right. Oh, man. Next time when we come back, I'm going to have all of this andesite mop, uh, mopped up and we're going to be living large, living large. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm John B. Parker. Have yourselves a great day.